What's going on everybody? It's Reed. Thank you so much for joining me today on this journey to end the stigma of mental health as we know it. This channel is all about spreading love, joy, hope, motivation, inspiration, and overall positivity with the whole giant world of the internet so people know that they are not alone in this life and that this life is worth living. Before we get started, make sure to like this video, give it a big thumbs up, but then also subscribe to this channel so you can keep tabs on what I'm doing, videos coming out, and just go on this journey with us. I have my days, guys, where I still struggle, as we all do, and so come along with this journey. Come along with this journey. That doesn't even make sense, but come on this journey with us so you never feel alone or hopeless, and you get more reasons upon reasons upon reasons of why this life is worth it. Um, this guy's, this video is a little different. It's not all sunshines and rainbows today, as is mental illness is not all sunshine. I can't talk today, but it's not all sunshine and rainbows. So today's a little deeper and darker, talking about why it's important to talk, talk about the deep stuff and why it's okay, especially when it comes to suicide. Um, if you're not comfortable yet with talking about the deeper and darker things when it comes to mental illness, feel free to just exit out of this video and go find another one on my channel that's more kind of uplifting and positive. But then I also, I also encourage you to come back to this video at some point when you are comfortable just to be educated and just to just to know that there's there's a different light that can be brought to the darker side of things um so this video is more so yeah about why it's okay to talk about the deep and dark stuff and why it's okay to talk about suicide and overall suicide facts and statistics so we can grow from it um right now mental illness affects one in four people um sometimes resulting in that very tragic event of them ending their lives. Um, it's all in, I don't want to say it's all in your head, but it's literally, it's a brain thing. Mental illness is a brain thing. That's because it's mental. Um, with your brain being, being like the most important organ in your body, it affects everything physically. It affects everything mentally. It can really make or break you if it's not taken care of. Like I said, resulting in very tragic events like suicide. Um, the nice part about knowing about mental illness and mental health as a whole is that mental mental illness is treatable, whether it be with books or counseling or medication, whatever it is you need to kind of get through all of that, mental illness is treatable. There's things you can work on. There's things that can grow you as a person. But it also can take you down that huge rabbit hole of not feeling worthy for this life that you were given. Um, right now, suicide, okay, not right now, 2017. These are from when these stats are from. 2017, 129 people committed suicide per day, resulting in, I gotta read it, resulting in 47,173 deaths overall. And I say that exact number because that's an exact, that's an individual person whose lives was lost, so I'm not going to round down. I'm not rounding up. We are going to give acknowledgement to every single person who lost their life. 47,173 individual people lost their life because of suicide. 1.4 million people attempted in 2017. 1.4 million. That is an extreme number, and that is why this topic needs talked about and brought up, because that number can go lower and lower year after year if we focus on the acknowledgement of mental illness as a whole. Suicide has become the 10th leading cause of death worldwide. That's more than car accidents. 69% of those 47,173, 47, 69% of them were men. Majority of those middle-aged men. Um, and men, I am so sorry that it has got to the point where you don't feel comfortable talking about your emotions and you feel like ending your life is the only option for you. I am so sorry. Um, and guys, suicide is not something that should ever be, ever be made fun of. It's not a funny thing. It is very, it is a very emotional and stressful and important topic for some. Um, and if you have lost somebody to suicide, if you've lost somebody close to you, if you have thought about suicide yourself, we are here for you to support you and love you and show you all, all 
the reasons why this life is worth living and how we can help others and how others can help us and how we can help ourselves. That's what this channel is all about. So why, why do I personally talk about the deep and dark stuff? I don't want to say I'm like a, like a depression, suicide, mental, okay, I'm a mental illness freak. I love it. But I'm not going to say I'm a suicide and depression advocate. Um, that's probably not how you should say that. I know it's not a funny thing and I know it's very important and I know it's very stressful for some. That is why I talk about it because I am willing to open up that bag of worms to have the community grow bigger than ever. Um, I personally have been in the spot. I have never, I have never attempted suicide, but I have contemplated. I have been in that deep and dark situation in my life where I feel like, where I felt like it wasn't worth living anymore to the point of taking myself to a hospital and saying, you know what, I don't feel safe with myself right now and this is the safest spot for me. I have been there, which is why I think I'm really willing to talk about it because I know how I felt during that time and I never, never want anybody to feel as low as I did. It is a very scary thing. Um, I did feel very alone and I'm, I probably will get emotional about it. So. Thankfully, I have my little upbeat music that I'll put in the background of this to make it more lighthearted, but when you feel in those really, really low spots of life where you feel like your life just isn't worth living anymore, I can honestly say with my personal experience, that is the lowest I have ever felt as a person. Um, people can betray me. I can betray others. But having that, having that personal betrayal on your own heart, mind, and soul is one of the lowest feelings where you feel like, why are you even here? And so that is why I talk about it, guys, is because I'm not the only one who feels like this. I'm, I am not the only one who feels like this. I'm not the only person who has ever felt like this. And more people are going to feel like they just can't go on and that there's no hope for them. There is. There is hope. There is a silver lining. There is a light at the end of the tunnel. There there is bigger and better things for you, even if you feel so low right now that you just can't go on. Um, sorry, this topic just gets to me. I get very, I get very passionate about it. Um, if you talk to any of my friends, I, I love mental, I love mental illness and mental health. I think, which is why I started this channel. Um, and I can just really relate to people, and I really feel for people when they lose somebody. I just, it needs to change, guys. Suicide, the, the numbers can get lower. They can. Um, but the topic needs, it needs talked about and it needs a light brought to it, not in a funny way, because like I said, it's not funny. But we can show love and support for one another so everybody knows that they are not alone here. They are not alone. So if you ever, if you ever feel lost in this world, feel free to message me on YouTube, Instagram, which will be linked in that, not linked, but it'll be shown in that very last screen of this video, message me. I will always be a listening ear. I will always talk to you. I will always try to love and support you to my best ability. I am not a doctor. I am not a mental health specialist. I am just a girl on a mission to end the stigma of mental health. So do I have all the answers? No. Will I have all the answers? No. But I will be here to love and support you no matter what, like I said, to my best ability. If I can't help you personally, or if I feel it's beyond me, I will I will direct you in the in I will direct you to something that can help you. I will try to I will try to do that for you because I believe that you are not done here. You are not done. And the fact that you can acknowledge that you were in a spot that needs help to reach out for some for something makes you incredibly strong. And it's the ones that know they need help that have the most strength. If you feel low, know that you are strong. The fact that you can acknowledge that you need help makes you strong. The fact that you are reaching out for help makes you strong. You are a strong human. Never feel alone in this journey. You are not alone. Like I said, I have my days and I will be very upfront with you always about my days. Um, but overall guys, this is why this is why this topic needs talked about. Um, I know I was kind of all over the place with this one, but that's just kind of, it's an interesting topic to talk about in a 10 minute video. It's very interesting to just talk about. Um, 
But know that I am here for you. I always will be because I love you and I support you and I will be your biggest fan through all of this. Whether I know you or not, I know this life is worth living and I will give you reasons upon reasons upon reasons upon reasons of why. Um, so overall, guys, I have faith that you will do great things. I have faith that you will take care of yourself. I have faith that you will, you will get through any struggle that you are going through right now. I just know you will. So please have faith in yourself. Please stay happy, stay healthy, and take care.